Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly love reading for uh, December 4th through December 10th. I have pre-shuffled this deck, so, you know, that card didn't come up, so I'm just going to flip that baby right over because I feel like that's what I need to do. Um, yeah, so anyway, um, yeah, this is a weekly love reading. It may not resonate. It may. It would take what does and leave the rest, okay? Because this is for hundreds and thousands of people. It's not a private reading. It's a general reading. Um, I have pre-shuffled, so I'm only going to shuffle for a moment. All right, so this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this uh, video should not be under any other channel, okay? It should only be under Soul Source Tarot's channel on YouTube. The basis of your reading is the Four of Cups reversed. There is a lack of uh, happiness at some point this week for somebody. It feels like you're wanting more, like there's discontent, okay? There's dis discontent with, within a relationship. Um, maybe somebody isn't offering you love, or you're not offering them love. I'm not sure. There's like a withdrawal, okay? If somebody is, is being very cold. I'm not sure if it's you or the other person. But with the Knight of Cups right next to the Four of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles reversed, it's like somebody has totally isn't putting in effort, okay? All of a sudden, perhaps, somebody isn't putting effort into the relationship. Could be a Leo. Uh, could be a Sagittarius. Could be an Aries. Um, yeah, it could be either one of those. Uh, I see that there's things, things just aren't moving forward the way that you had hoped. We also have Libra, uh, Gemini and Aquarius here, and we do have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, and we have the water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So we have all the signs here. I feel like many of you are dealing with a fire sign though, Leo. Aries, Sagittarius. I don't know why. It just feels prominent to me and I have to go with that. So I feel like somebody isn't putting in the effort. Somebody could be totally withdrawn all of a sudden just being like not offering you the love and support they had in the past. It feels like you may be contemplating uh, being on your own. Okay, you may be on the edge. You may be thinking, you know, it's maybe it's time for me to be alone. That nine of pentacles is the divorcee, the widow, the widower, you know, somebody who lives very gratefully on their own. They, they're very happy with what they have, but they probably don't have a partner at this time. <clears throat> but for many of you, I think that, so, I mean, some of you could. I mean, if you're single, this is you being very happy where you're at. You know, being having all the little, being grateful for all the little things. You know, not sweating the small stuff. Feeling at peace if you're single. <clears throat> feeling at peace with, you know, all your possessions and where you're at in life, but not in love. Okay, because there's a lack of love here. And that doesn't mean that you don't love. It's like you're not receiving love if you're single. But you're grateful for everything else. And you probably love yourself quite a bit, but you're not receiving love from another. So it looks like this week you are probably glowing either way. Whether you are in a relationship or not, you are glowing this week. So remember that, okay? Remember your gentle, compassionate side okay because it's still there just you have it and people do see it so if you start to feel down or you start to feel like you're unloved or whatever the case is don't feel that way because you're beautiful and I can see that you are somebody that's watching this probably everybody I mean there is a lot of beauty here so don't let that get you down I feel like there is things are just a little chaotic right now and probably unorganized I think there could be some overindulging and things are out of balance, 
all right? So I don't know if that's you or somebody that you're dealing with, but it feels like you need to let go of the need to control um, and look at things from a new perspective, something like that. There could be some... Uh, there's definitely some difficulties this week and there's like manipulation and there's controlling and I'm not sure who's doing it, if it's you or the other person, but it's like somebody is trying to punish the other one. I'm going to punish you by not talking to you. I'm going to punish you by not offering you support. I'm just going to totally hide from you. You know what I mean? And it's that's a form of manipulation, okay? So it feels like that's kind of thing is going on, like there's some kind of... Um, behind the scenes vindictiveness okay that's what I see you know and it's affecting you it is it's affecting you because you're starting to feel down but I'm here to remind you that you're beautiful so whatever anybody says thinks how they make you feel I see that you are beautiful and the world does too okay because when the Empress card comes out it means that you are projecting yourself very well and the rest everybody sees your beauty Okay, inside and out, by the way. All right, so don't don't let anybody tell you differently or make you feel differently because that's not true. So anyway, I think that there's a lack of balance and I think there's a lot going on this week and you may be feeling like you're on the edge. You're on the edge and things might be unstable. Uh, there's going to be, there's probably some power struggles between you and another person and you're seriously contemplating just ending it. Just ending this whole thing, this whole charade, okay? Because this world card is reversed. It's like somebody's thinking about it. But you're trying to take the practical approach. You're trying to be practical. You're trying to be responsible. You're trying to do the right thing. Um, you're trying to... Um, make the best decision, okay? So this is, it. This is definitely a week of of thinking okay and there's a lot of control here I don't know somebody is trying to be in control there's no doubt about it when you have the Emperor and the King of Pentacles in one reading there is a need for control somebody is trying to be and the Queen of Swords even I mean there's there's somebody is trying to control a situation so and they're not thinking about the consequences when this Queen of Swords is reversed they're like I don't care if I, I don't care what the consequences are I'm gonna teach you a lesson somebody's trying to teach somebody a lesson by withdrawing their love or punishing them in some way by not communicating by hiding you know just not putting in any effort it's like it's, there's a punishment here and that is a controlling tactic that's manipulation so okay just just put that in your pocket um, it feels like many of you just want peace okay I can see that you do you want peace but somebody isn't letting it happen it's like they are totally they're not mastering their emotions somebody in your life is not mastering their emotions the only way that they can get through to you is to withdraw back off you know and they, they feel like that's the right thing to do but it's hurting it's hurting the relationship in a very big way um, and you might be contemplating just saying I'm not even I don't even know if I want this anymore because you may be feeling like I just want peace I want to be happy I have plenty I, I don't need this if, if you're not gonna give me the love that I deserve then you know I'm not sure that I want this anymore I see self-respect here because that's a six, the six of wands is respect it is so there is self-respect at play um, You have to remember, everything happens for a reason. Okay, that temperance card is a purpose. There's a purpose for everything. It is reversed. That doesn't mean there's not a purpose. There's still a purpose, okay? There's a purpose for everything. So, so trust that everything is happening for a reason, all right? Things are unbalanced. Things are a little chaotic. Things are a little unorganized because you are being called to take action in some way. Yeah, somebody is being very cold. The Knight of Cups is, is, if you think about it like this, Prince Charming, who comes in to save the day. You know, and he's coming in with his, his offers of love, and he's coming to rescue. This is reversed, okay? So he's not coming in. He's backing away. He's, he's being very cold. And this one, these just fell out, and they're reversed as well. Um, all 
One upright in that pull. Okay, it's time to broaden your horizons. That's what this is, broaden your horizons, building a brand new foundation. It's time to really focus. Okay, it's also a time for you to respect yourself and to pull out your inner strength. I feel like, you know, it, this hangman reverse, the hangman is resisting letting go. This could imply that maybe you shouldn't resist. Maybe you shouldn't resist. Maybe things would be better if you were on your own. I mean, this is for couples. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. You, you figure that, that one out. But that hangman reverse tells me that Perhaps you need to let go of something, and it is going to be a struggle, okay? Maybe you've already done it because it's reversed. Maybe you've already let go, and now you're starting to reap the benefits, okay? Because it feels like, you know, somebody is about to step outside of their shell. So that's all there is to it. Somebody is can't do this anymore. I don't know what it is. Somebody's right on the edge, and I feel it very strongly. Somebody who's watching this is on the edge of quitting. Quitting something, okay? Because of the lack of communication. There's lack of communication. There's lack of teamwork. There's lack of effort. There's lack of love, okay, from another person. Somebody isn't just giving their fair share and they're trying to manipulate by, by not offering anything at all. It's like, I'm going to punish you for your behavior. And that's not okay. That's not okay. All right? I feel like it's really, really time for you to go in and refocus on your future. All right? There is a, there's a need for you to speak up. Speak up. Somebody definitely isn't isn't happy. I don't know who it is. Somebody is not happy about the situation. It feels like there's disconnect discontent somebody's looking for more in the love department and they're just not getting it okay you may be feeling very grateful with all the other parts of your life but as far as love goes that's an issue right now this tells me that you're going to have to struggle through it you're going to have to it's part of it's part of the plan I mean that's the way it is when when something isn't happening the way that you'd like it's usually a struggle to get through it. It's just the way it is. It's a fact of life. Okay? You have to uh, move, though. You have to take action. I can see that many of you are so worried about making the wrong decision. I don't want to make the wrong decision. Okay? But I see that many of you have been thinking about this, thinking about this, because the hermit is reversed. And if you haven't, this is saying that you need to. Okay? Go within to get your answers and really listen, okay? I, I just see that there's a lack of communication here. It's like somebody is trying to punish somebody else, okay? I mean, it's, that's what I see. Now, we're going to pay attention to all the cards around these cards, okay? This says soulmate. Now, you know what a soulmate is? A soulmate is somebody that comes into your life to teach you something, to bring you growth. We have multiple soulmates within a lifetime. A child could be a soulmate, okay? We have multiple soulmates as we grow, okay? People come into our lives to teach us something, okay? That's what a soulmate is. So whoever that you're thinking of during this reading, yes, that person came into your life to teach you something and this has to do with respect for one thing it has to do with not punishing another because somebody is seriously withholding love withholding affection withholding effort not putting in because they're trying to punish somebody it's, it's absolutely clear they're trying to teach a lesson the wrong way So anyway, um, how, well, maybe it's not the wrong way because maybe that's the only way you'll learn the lesson or the other person will learn the lesson. 
is if you withdraw. Maybe that's the only way. I mean, that's what soulmates do. They come in to teach a lesson. I can certainly see here that somebody's being taught a lesson. And it's about what to be grateful for because of that Nine of Pentacles. Being, being grateful for the small things. But we're going to move on to the next card. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Something is not right. Unconditional love does not punish. I look up that quote, you know, from the Corinthians. Love is patient, love is kind, you know, that quote, whatever. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. If somebody is hiding from you and they're trying to avoid you, that is a red flag. If somebody won't talk to you, because you know what, that's a red flag. If they're not putting effort into the relationship anymore, they're totally withdrawn. That's a red flag. There's red flags here, okay? So, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Perhaps this person that you're dealing with doesn't believe the same things as you believe. Maybe you guys don't have the same spiritual beliefs. Maybe you don't have the same uh, traditions, you know, traditional traditions. Maybe the, I don't know, there's so many different people in the world. I can't, I, I could say so many things. I don't want to say the wrong thing because somebody would be sure to say something about it. But anyway, your love life is being influ influenced by your religious upbringing and path. And this should say also traditions, people's their own traditions. Okay? Everybody's different. Perhaps they just don't see that you don't see eye to eye. Spiritually. Anyway, you're being urged to go dig deep. Dig deep and refocus. Refocus on your future. What is it that you want? What is the most practical thing for you? You, it, you know, many of you are just here because you don't want the change. You're resisting the change. You're comfortable. You're comfortable. But the fact of the matter is, it's not getting any better. Something isn't. Somebody is really, really trying to punish you by not offering any support whatsoever. Interesting. Clearing. Clearing. Do you know what clearing means? Clear away all that no longer serves you. Make room for growth. That's what the card says. Clearing, make room for growth. I put it right here. Something is, isn't right. And you know it. And you know it, seriously. And you're feeling it with this Four of Cups right here. There's a lot of discontent. It's time to clear that away so that you can enjoy everything else to its fullest. Capricorn, this is what I have for you again. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and this video should not be on anybody else's channel. Should I find it on somebody else's channel, I will report it to DCMA and do whatever I can to get your channel take down. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah. Talk to you later.